Well, people who live in Jacksonville's Dinsmore area say waiting for a train to pass feels like mm -hmm. forever. They say there are times a train will just sit for hours and block the crossing. That's right. Their biggest concern is what happens if there's actually an emergency. As On Your Side's Tristan Hardy reports tonight, first responders do have a plan for that. Virginia McLean has lived in the Dinsmore community all her life. This is a dead end road. This is the only way in and out. One thing that stays consistent in her neighborhood is a train passing by. In her experience, the wait could take a few minutes or a few hours. You can say she learned to become a patient person. I've had relatives spend the night on this side of the track. However, not everyone is as tolerant. Once they stop, they have to wait. They cannot, they can't back it up. They can't pull forward because if they pull forward, they're blocking one. If they back up, they're blocking another. And at the age of 71, McLean's patience is getting thin. She's worried a train will be in the way in case there's an emergency. Starting to have health issues. I don't want to be caught back here and not go to the hospital. First responders have a plan just in case. The Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department says they run into train traffic on the daily. Over the years, we, we learned from our mistakes. JFRD says it has a policy where if a first responder is stuck, they contact dispatch about the situation. Then the closest team will get to the scene. JFRD says they don't experience a lot of delays. Plus, there's a fire station that's less than 10 minutes from where McLean lives. Fire officials say they're trained to know their location. McLean hopes city officials will look into their concerns just in case. I'm at a loss because we have been around and around this. Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.